this equations here. Okay, this equation here. Okay, now this equation uh, V equals to U0 plus AT. It is the relationship between the initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration and time. Okay, so this is the relationship. Now the second equation delta x equals to v naught u plus half a t squared. Now okay. this is the relationship between the displacement velocity and acceleration. So if you want to find the uh, displacement or you want to find something which is related to displacement, then you should use this formula. Okay. So if you want to find something related to displacement without time, then you are going to use this formula. No time. Okay. If you look at this formula, it doesn't involve any time here. So uh, you you when you read the problem uh, later on, uh, like when you read the problem like this, you have to see what are the quantities that are given and what are the quantities that you need to find. Okay, so if you if you can if you can identify the variables, then you should know which equation to use to solve the problem. Okay, now you read this uh, 2.4, example 2.4. A car race starting from rest accelerate at a constant rate at of 5 meters per second square. What is the velocity of the car after it has traveled 1 times 10 to the power of 2 feet? How much time has elapsed? Calculate the average velocity two different ways. Okay, now uh, let's say if you don't know how to approach this problem, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know how to approach this problem. As you read the question, you try to identify the quantity, the physical quantity or the variable that, that is involved. Then you write, okay. write down, translate them to symbol. Okay, so after laying out all these quantities in front of you, then you search for the equation that has the relation <coughs> between all these quantities or all these variables. Now, what I mean is like this. When, when, when I read the problem, car starts from rest. Now, car starts from rest. I have identified one uh, physical quantity here. Start from rest means, the starting means the initial velocity. So rest means zero. So I translate them as this way. Start from rest means the V naught equals to zero. Okay, right. Then I continue. Accelerate at a constant rate of five meter per second square. So okay. I know a is 5. So I write down A equals to 5 meters per second square. Then the next part. What is the velocity of the car after it has traveled 100 feet? 100 feet. Can you see another uh, quantity or variable here? Another mm -hmm. quantity here is travel 100 feet. Yes, it means that the displacement is 100. So, translate into symbol, delta x is 100. Okay. Okay, then, okay. What is the velocity of the car? Okay, this is what you want to find. This is what you want to find. Okay, right. So, now, uh, if you look at the three formula here, the three formula here, or mm -hmm. the three equations here, which of these three equations has all these physical quantities? Which the one? third one. Ha, the third one, correct. You have acceleration, initial velocity, final velocity, and the displacement. So it should be the third one. So you see that it is very helpful if you can identify the, the physical quantity, list them out in front of you. Right? As as, mm -hmm. as soon as you identify them, you write down. Write down. Write down. Then you can okay. see before you all the different physical quantities. 
So using this set of physical quantities, you look back at the equation and see which one to use. But before you can use this physical quantity, you see that okay. uh, the, the acceleration here is meter per second square and the distance here is 100 feet. So the units, they are not consistent. So you either change everything to, to feet or you change everything to meter. Now, in this case, we prefer to change to meter because meter is the SI unit and also it is more commonly used in this question. So I okay. better change everything to the SI unit. So the first step is to change the units. So 100 feet here, I change to meter. Uh, one meter is 3.28, 3.28 feet. So I divide by 3.28 to know how many meters are there. So we have the displacement is actually 30.5 meter so that is the that is why i get this delta x is 30.5 so far any question no 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 understand no can follow okay right yeah so now uh just sub copy down this formula you just copy down i i'm not sure in your in your exam uh, this formula they are given or not over here uh, our local uh, sc school uh, or a level all this formula they are given all this they are given in, in the exam paper so you don't have to memorize or make mistake by you know you memorize wrongly and so on i i, I don't know your case I, is, is it given all this 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 formula here I think yeah 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 it's given okay I remember correctly yeah so you just copy down from the from the the question paper you just copy down all the this equation here so you copy down the equation v square equals to v naught square actually not over here we call it u square right v square equals to u square plus two a s okay then you substitute inside v is what you don't know so you just leave it as v now the other quantities you should know so you just replace the symbol with the uh, with the magnitude that you know right with the amount that you know you put everything mm -hmm. inside then use your calculator to calculate answer so uh, 17.5 meter per second now the second part is how much time has elapsed so again, you look at the quantities that you know, right? You know uh, A, you know X, you know uh, V naught, you know V, you don't know T, right? So now there's a new, uh, a new physical quantity that you need to find T. So of these uh, three equations, which one has T? Which one has T? The first one and the second one. Mm -hmm. So both of these can be used to find your T. Both yep. of these. Because both of those got T. But which one is easier? You see the second one very complicated, right? Mm. Got square, then you have uh, delta X there. The mm. easier one will be the top. Okay, the top one. So I copy down this equation inside the answer the answer script just copy down okay just copy down so you know which equation to use right by looking at the variable that you have listed down and the variable t that they're going to ask you you you, you definitely know which equation to use both also got t both also can be used but we prefer the first one because simpler so i copy down and uh put it here so I'm going to replace the V with the final velocity. Final velocity is what we have found earlier here. It's what we have found, 17.5. So final velocity, 17.5. Initial velocity, zero, because they start from rest, zero. The acceleration are from here, lah, five, lah, okay, it's five. And T is the one that we don't know. T 
is the one that we don't know. So you just uh, solve this equation, right? And you okay. get t equals to 3.5. 3.50 second. Uh, the last part, calculate the average velocity in two different ways. Okay. Average velocity, calculate the average velocity in two different ways. So the average velocity is this one. Uh, v naught plus V divided by 2. Average velocity is the initial velocity uh, plus the final velocity divided by 2. That, that is the average. Right? The initial velocity is 0. Final velocity is 17.5 and the time take, uh, no, this one is, is 2, right? The uh, average means you divide by 2. So you divide by 2, you get uh, 8.75. Why, why am okay. I going, why, why did I put the second square there? Sometimes, sometimes type also type wrongly. <laughs> okay, it's meter per second, not meter per second square. Okay. Uh, is there any other way you can find the average velocity? They ask us to find in two ways. So is there any other way to find the average velocity? Yes, we can. Now the average velocity, uh, V bar, where is it? Okay, V bar equals to. Now we are going to use the total, the total displacement. The, the displacement, which is your delta x, this, this, this place, displacement. Okay, the displacement divided by the total time taken, the or the time elapsed. Okay, so this is another way you can find the average velocity. Right? So both ways can be used. Where to get the displacement? Now here, 30.5. Okay, 30.5. Where to get the time? The time is 3.5 seconds. 3.5 seconds. So you can also use uh, this second way to find the average velocity. Okay, right. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, you read 2.4. You read question 2.4. This, this one. What is, what the, is the final speed if the displacement is increased by a factor of 4? So we are going to increase by a factor of 4. We are going to increase the displacement by a factor of 4. So instead of having uh, 1 delta x, we are going to put 4 delta x there. And okay. you can see what is the difference. You can see that what is the difference. Actually, I have colored this earlier on. Then some I go and color it again. Then I find the color gone. Okay, right. So <clears throat> uh, from where we are going to find the relationship between the the delta x and the uh, final velocity uh, from this equation here, right? From this one. The, the first equation that you have quoted, v square equals to v naught square plus 2a delta x. So this is the equation. But the initial velocity is 0. So I put 0 there. And I want to leave this 2ax in the form of 2ax. I, I don't want to substitute numbers inside because if I substitute the numbers inside, I can no longer see the relationship. Okay, I can no longer see the relationship. Okay, so the next part, when the displacement become four times. So from this same equation here, I'm going to replace the delta x with 4 delta x. Is this okay or not? When the displacement becomes 4 times, 
then the delta x in the the, the, the formal equation become 4 delta x. Okay, so when it becomes 4 delta x, the square root of this 4 is how much? The final velocity is the square root of this thing. Now, square root of 4 is actually 2. It's actually 2. Now, can you see that this 2 square root of something and this square root of something, the square, whatever that is inside the square root is exactly the same. Because I have 4 times the displacement, so I have an extra factor of 2 in front, uh, which I have colored in red, which I have colored in red. So can you tell me what will be the final velocity in this second case with the velocity in the first case? Uh, where is it? Eh? I make, make it colorful so that you can see. Now this is the velocity in the first case. Square root of 2a delta x. This is the velocity when you have double the displacement. 2 square root of 2 a delta x. So if you compare the first velocity and the second velocity, there is a difference of a 2 in front. 2 in front. So this shows us that the, the final velocity will be 2 times the final velocity of the previous case. Any question? No. No, huh? Right. So we're going to look at uh, another one. The same question, but they replace it with uh, different numbers, right? You read uh, 